Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a solo run of this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Corrupted, everybody's favourite Nightfall. As you can see, I'm doing it on the Warlock. Uh, I'm using Geomags as my exotic art armour, obviously to elongate uh, Chaos Reach. The longer it's on the target, it will keep pulsing, does big damage now that it's been kind of given a little bit of help. As you can see, I've got Hung Jury. I'm using uh, the... Energy Grenade Launcher from Vow of the Disciple. You do, if you don't have that, don't worry. You can also you can always use the, a couple of the void ones that are available as long as it's as long as it's a uh, wave frame. It will do the same job. I'm using obviously forbearance, and I am using the Leviathan's Breath. I'm using the Leviathan's Breath Exotic Rocket Launcher simply because it's unstoppable, and I mean it's unstoppable. You know, the thing does massive damage now. Uh, scout Rifle for Overloads. My Arc Grenades will stop Overloads as well. So you'd have seen me take that first Overload out. In this first section, I am literally just worried about getting past here. I'm not going to be clearing all the ads. And you'll see at the end, it really isn't a need to, you know... Beforehand, when these, when these strikes first come out, Platinum was the way to go. It doesn't seem like that now. I get a massive chunk of rewards at the end. Uh, a couple of ascendant shards, all the good stuff. So, I've always felt that the corrupted is maybe, maybe one encounter too long. It's it's definitely not one of my favourites. I did spend a considerable bit of time in here a couple of seasons ago, uh, trying to get this done on the GM on Arc Titan, which I managed to do. The videos on the channel, <laughs> and I came in this time and completely forgot everything that I'd learned. I've done this on stream, so if you want to see all the workings out, you can always head over and watch the stream from last night. Today is Wednesday, so it would have been Tuesday night stream. So, lots of taken, lots of overloads, not so many unstops. There is if you're going to kill everything, but there is no need to. I've always found that this next section and the final section at the boss are the two most difficult. Simply because you're in an enclosed area, they're both kind of a rounded area, very similar shaped, and there's not really much cover. So what we're going to be doing is utilising our jolt, our arc ability kills, and getting rifts with uh, arc souls back. You'll see here, what I've done is, when, as soon as I start the encounter off, I want to get to this place very quickly and kill all those scions, and then I come up here, put a rift down, these two boys, the two non-relic needed shields, they will come straight to you. Another thing that's worth mentioning is I have Transcendent Blessings on. Which, each each Transcendent Blessing I have, I do 5% more damage in the Dreaming City. Anywhere in the Dreaming City. And if you're unsure how to get said Transcendent Blessings, uh, the vendor on the Dreaming City... Uh, Petra Venge, she sells a bounty each week for you to go in and do the blind well. You've got to do two to complete it the quickest. You don't have to do two, but uh, to do it, it's, it's it, oh, it reminds me uh, of Shaw Hands bounty weekly bounty. You've got to, you know complete uh, public events. Two heroics does that. Petra Venge's bounty, two tier threes with. You know, when you get the extra boss at the end by putting the... What is that thing called? What is that light thing called? I don't know if I've got any, any of them left. Uh, you put a tier 3 charge for lightning in, you've got to put that other light thing in. Which, uh... The unstable charge of light. I just had a look at my inventory. You put that in, you bring out the extra boss. You've got to do two of them, you complete it. You get something to go and hand in to Marasav. And when that, uh gift or an offering, the offering I think it is, when you complete the offering you get another bounty, which is either to be done in the Corrupted or the ones I normally get are to be done in the Shattered Throne, that gives you a transcendent blessing, you can only get one across, you can't get one per character, you can only get one per account each week now, it is worthwhile saying this, if you don't know about transcendent blessings uh, when you put them on a piece of armour you're not screwed but you can't replace them in like like other mods. They are once you put it on a piece of armor, the only way to get it off to to put it on another piece of armor is to delete the piece of armor that is on 
that, that you've got that transcendent blessing on. Deleting the armor will give you the blessing back. If you replace the transcendent blessing, it will, it will you'll lose it. So, as you can see, we're at the second part here. This is probably the part a lot of people have a bit of difficulty with. I forgot how to do this completely, but the ads that are pushing me, these ads here, they're pretty clumsy in the respects that, when I say clumsy, they're not, not super clever. So, when they go to shoot you, uh, these uh, Bound to Sadia boys, the Taken uh, Cabal Phalanxes, they will ready, like, just like normal Phalanxes, they will ready their shots at you, uh, but once they're locked in, they can't change. So, go let them lock in, jump open. You know, uh, it's it, the idea is to get rid of the thrall. Once you get rid of the scion, sorry, once you get rid of the scions, it's very easy to manage the rest of the ads in here. Just you, ha you can't be static, and you can run towards enemies, especially in this third wave, and jump over them. In the first wave, you've got two shields that you can break manually without a relic. It's the third guy with the shield. He's probably the most difficult out of all these enemies because he does a lot of damage. Uh, it's it's a, you take additional arc damage, but you deal additional arc and void damage. So uh, if you don't have, as I said, if you don't have the forbearance, then uh, I'm trying to remember the names of the void, the two void uh, grenade launchers that are quite strong this season. Well, they, be, they were strong last season as well, from being honest. Truth Teller, Death, Deafening Whisper, uh, and Harsh Language. And, and, and they might actually work even better because you can get them with Unstable... I uh, can't remember... I'm, my brain's gone blank for half of these, half of these perks, but uh, it's, it's, it's not Unstable. Like It's the one that... Uh, Repulsor Brace, and then there's another one. Uh... Ideally, what you want on stuff like this is the ability to have two in the mag. So, forbearance. My, my forbearance comes with Ambitious Assassin. It's, it's, a, it's, a, really good, it's a really good one. Uh, Scout's obviously for Overload, and that's why we've got Leviathan's Breath. So I can use an additional weapon, because it's, this is an ad-heavy Nightfall. Now, these two, <laughs> these two uh, knights... I found that, the, the, especially these two knights, don't ask me why, are chunky. They, they give out a lot of damage and they couldn't give a monkeys about the damage you're putting out. So be very wary with them. It's obviously you're taking additional arc damage. May, I, I'm going to add this. The overcharge weapon is rocket launcher. When a bunch are going to realize that unless they do, I know that there's new rocket launchers for new perks, but unless you've got them, every other rocket launcher in the game just isn't going to cut it here. It's, it's, you're probably going to hear this over the course of this season because I'm passionate about it, that nearly every season there's a couple of heavies that stand out for, you know, what's the best way to put it, for like neutral, you know, if you're not, sp sp if you're not needing it specifically for one thing, so... Accurious is good when there's, you know, it's close range, so on and so forth. But then there'll be a couple, one or two heavies that base work good on everything. It doesn't seem to be like that this season. It seems like Bungie's, they took a real strange approach to heavies that a lot of them just feel pointless. You know, and, and that's kind of sad. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to utilise my, my Rift and my, my Aeon Soul my little arc buddy now I'm gonna stop him I, I can't attack the overload there the reason why I pushed up so close I didn't expect that sorry unstoppable I didn't expect that unstoppable to push I had to take down the shrieker because the shrieker sometimes you get pulled into areas where uh, you don't want to be and the shrieker's just waiting there to kill you I'm gonna be using my grenades because I'll just take this one down. I'll be using my grenades on the Shriekers because I'm going to try and save Heavy, and so should you. If you're doing this as a solo, Heavy's going to be at a premium. I found 
I had a real problem with Heavy doing this. I, I maybe done a couple of runs to get this, but I had to work out the best loadout first as well. It wasn't just I was using this loadout and just not getting it. Uh, I had to work out the right loadout first. And I like to take these knights from as far away as possible because even though it says additional arc damage is buffed, these these knights knights are just they're just the worst. They just don't care. It's like, oh, arc damage is the worst. I bet you my solar cannon's got something to say about that. And normally they're right. <laughs> I'll just just put something on this and try and get rid of this guy pretty quickly. Because I think the other guy woke up. No, he didn't. I thought the other shrieker was like, what's going on? Yeah, there we go. And normally, so shriekers have a point, like like overloads, like a lot, a lot of enemies that don't have super long range attack. They have an area where you can, like you can see here, I woke this guy up and now he can see me. Now he wants a bit. I actually was in two minds by the fire there. Now I've got to wait for, for a rift. Overload you can shoot from a distance and it doesn't aggro them. There is a distance where, where they're vulnerable from with ranged attacks, but they won't push you, right? Uh, Shriekers have kind of the same and you'll find that out uh, you would have found that out when we were shooting the big shrieker before the staircase. There's a little line just before the stairs, kind of a big line in the middle of the floor. If you start shooting the, the shrieker just before there to get him to open and then walk forward, uh, you'll activate him, but he won't shoot. There's a certain point he won't shoot before he gets there. Just want to stun him so I can get out of there with him constantly shooting me. So... Now that we're at this part, what I always try and do at this part is uh, get rid of the arc guy for the, the sorry the arc guy. What arc guy? What are you talking about, Mondo? It's, it's taken in hive. The hive guy first. Because once you kill so you've got this room with the with the I'll take this on stop, we're gonna have to use for super because we need to kill him quickly. And the good thing about, as you've seen there with Chaos, once, you, once, you, once you've once you've used it for what you need, uh, you can you can just cut off your super and you keep a chunk of your super health. Right, as I was saying before, that unstoppable so rudely interrupted us. You've got a taken room, you've got a hive room. Regardless of which room you do first, so if you do the hive room, you come in and you get kill the taken guy. And then you'll go through the portal into the hive room. If you kill the taken one first, you'll stay in this room. And and that seems like that would be okay. Except if you kill this guy first and and then kill this guy, all the ads that are left in the, the hive room will de despawn. Whereas if you kill this guy first, the taken guy, then next time you go into the because whichever boss you kill, you don't go back into that room. So if you kill the Hive guy first, leave all the ads there, they will despawn. Whereas if you kill the Taken guy, now you're in this room, this... That was a really bad grenade. Uh, the ads here will not... You'll, you'll now have to kill everything in this room because this is where you progress to the next area. So I always like to just kill kill this guy, uh, kill the, hi the, the, the Hive guy first, so that I don't have to fight all of those ads because Hive Knights, you know. And it's the same here when you're in the Taken room, so you kill the Hive Ogre first, come in, but you get teleported back into this room, jobs are good and you're not going to go back into the Hive room until you go through the portal. As soon as you kill that the, the Taken Ogre, all the little minions despawn. So unlike there's one room, where, uh, there we go. So, now that I've killed him, I won't cut, I won't, now it won't keep switching between Hive and Taken. I'll go into the Taken room, you see Castaway. No, I don't have a timer. And all the Hive enemies have despawned. Right? So now what I've got to do is kill your boy here. And then as soon as he's dead, all of his minions will despawn. It doesn't work the opposite way about when you kill the Hive ones, they don't despawn. I'm just going to pop my super here and see if I can kill him. There we go. 
Now, all his minions will despawn. I'll just take them. Uh, you've still got some Shriekers, but if you go up the stairs and run around the back, you don't have to deal with them. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that's the easy, the hardest part's done. The, 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 the lift room's probably the most annoying. Now, another cool thing is when you despawn the ads in here, you see all the Hive Knights have gone, all the Acolytes, any ammo you dropped will be waiting for you here. So I always try and kill a couple of extra ads. I'm coming back to see if the, the Unstoppable dropped any. As I said, and it's coming back to be proof, heavies at a premium. But what you'll find, I don't know why this is, the overloads just before you get to the boss, they'll always kind of top you up with heavy. So very rarely will you go into the boss fight with no heavy. You know, those overloads will drop. Now, these two Unstoppables have a real problem with doors. I don't know what it is. I don't want to really bring it up, you know, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to point it out that they could have a problem with doors. But, that's heavy. They always get trapped behind these doors and then they're like self-imposed prison. <laughs> you know, help, I can't get out. <laughs> so, you'll, you will see that, that I'll just put that grenade on him and hopefully that's enough to finish him. I've got a heavy brick. Oh, yeah, he's finishable. But I've seen that many times where they get trapped behind the doors and they're like, oh, can I actually go and attack them? And, you know, there's the other guy. And for some reason, I'm going to use... I've now got... Uh, I'm going to go and get this heavy. See, there's a couple of bricks. The game knows. So that's given me 12 heavy. You can just jump... All, take it, all phalanxes taken or not, you can do just what I've done there. You can just run up and jump over them. You know, whether it's a champion or not, you can do that. Because once they lock in, that's that's it. I'm just going to... What I normally do with these, once I've killed the Unstoppables, what, what I normally do is I just run in and I get them all kind of group. You know, I see they'll all come. And then I just jump over. Normally, if I wasn't like... What, Normally I just put a grenade down there. There's more heavy. And then... There'll be... You've got these two void shielded guys. You've got one over there. And then there's one coming up the stairs. I, I, I noticed that my special, even though it didn't match their shields, would one hit the shields. Which is nice to know. And it works. It, it worked for all... wasn't just void. It worked for them all. Now you've got two unstoppables down here, so I'm just going to try and hit them just with a couple of shots each. Nothing major. If I can kill one, that would be nice. So, oh, there he is, he's ready to be stopped again. And he's nearly dead. I don't mind if I've got to, if I, you know... I've got to finish one. There we go. Just go down and check for any ammo. And then immediately notice I had a brick of heavy up here, which probably only gave me two. Yep, the famous two. So, that's this done. We've got an overload here. And then we're going to be dropping down and moving towards the boss. So I'm going to utilise the arc grenade. And I'm going to use just one or two of these because they are really good for, for boss damage. Leviathan's Breath. Now what what you have to do here, you have to be careful of this. This uh, Vandal, you have to make him put his shield up. If you don't, he's got like a, an arc version of Lord of Wolves. Oh man, it'll just destroy you. So, but if he puts his shield up, you can just run and jump over the shield and he can't shoot through it. And then you move on past. Uh, dropping down here, there is a ledge, which I will point out that I always try and skirt the edge of, because if I do, I'm going to be fine. You'll see I'm pointing right at it now. Now, you can use your boost just to move you out the way of those blights, but if you just skirt the edge of that, that platform, you'll drop all the way down, and now I take my usual gamer break right here. I normally take about 5-10 seconds just to have a drink or something, because I did do this on stream, so... Not too long. 
just enough to rehydrate. I don't even know why I say rehydrate, because it was Sprite I was drinking. It's not exactly hydration. But, uh, right. So this is the last kind of run to the boss. Now, I'm going to tell you to do this, because it's like 95% it's going to happen. So I start trying to take these shields down, and then remember, oh, there's an overload here that's got a death wish. Get a shot on him. So you see I've stunned him. That's all you've got to do. He will. <laughs> he will walk off there. He will. I don't... Uh, nearly... 95% of the time... There he goes. 95% <laughs> of the time that dude is like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. I am not... I'm not doing this again. These guys come through here every so often and just... Yeah, it, it's just... It's just a constant thing. I don't know why... But this dude just does not, does not like it up there. So always get a shot off on him because if you get a shot off on him and then he walks off, you get credit for the kill because you've done damage. As you can see, it doesn't matter what the shield is, uh, and 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 it do I don't really think it matters that it's uh, arc. I think energy weapons will just break a shield. You know they do that much damage, so I just use the grenade to just smash through them I jump down here you've got three more on the other side I'm not really wanting to waste shots I don't know why I've got plenty of ammo uh, I always go for this the ravenous taken guy first because he's the guy he's he's a bit more tanky than these two obviously they're all, they're doing a bit of stasis on me and you can see there even the primary goes through pretty quickly and then again oh, what we're doing here is we're, we're trying to take everything from range because most of these enemies hurt. And you've got to remember, um, you're still 19 levels under. That's only 6 away from what a Grandmaster is. It doesn't feel as bad as a Grandmaster. Nowhere near it. Uh, but at the same time, the point I'm trying to make is, beforehand, maybe I understand a little bit more about why Bungie done this. Because beforehand, you could run through here with a paperclip. And the ads will go running. You need to know, maybe not so much build craft. I, I don't really like that word, build craft. You know, you, I much more prefer to think of it as just thinking about your, you know, thinking about the activity. So, but build craft is quite a cool name. It just makes it sound a lot more technical than what it is. Uh, you really have to put some thought into your loadout because now a paper clip won't cut it. You've got to have the right weapons and. You know, for every, I mean, maybe it was always like this for the Corrupted, but it wasn't for many of the other ones. Many of the other ones, you could have went, oh, I just got a White Traveller's Chosen. Let's go and do Arms Dealer on Grandmaster. So whereas I didn't understand why they, they, power, they power capped all the Nightfalls, I maybe do now. Uh, it still doesn't stop people... <laughs> going into Lost Sectors to test the greatest Warlock build I've ever seen. You know, the, go into these. This is where you can find out how good your builds are. You know, not in a Lost Sector where you can still do it with a paperclip. Right. Unstoppable. I really want to kill the Vandal so that he can't do that with the with the, the shield so much. I want to just get something off on, on him and then we want to keep him stunned you see there because I've jolted him he's sharing that vandal thought he could run away but because I jolted the unstoppable uh, the overload he was just sharing arc damage and we've got one more vandal one on one more unstoppable and one more uh, overload now this is the one I was talking about that this overload if you're short uh, um, uh, second guess myself there I thought I said unstoppable again there's Overload he, he, he's kind of like oh you, you've not got enough you've not got enough heavy don't worry but I got you and he, he seems to always sort me out with a brick I always get sorted out with a brick at this section and it's always been the same so uh, we'll just finish and there you go now I've practically got full heavy and here we are that's a deer. Everybody's favourite Nightfall boss. Not as bad as Light, Light Blade, right? But it's still pretty annoying. 
There is a way to do this. I'm going to completely ignore that way and I'm going to show you how to do it just a tad faster. We're all going to have to go to the last phase because, well, as I say, nearly 20 levels below, you're not going to be blasting this boss solo. So, what we've done is we've jumped over here. I'm going to utilize my jewels. So you can see here, we're getting, doing arc damage. I'm getting, I should be getting a ton of, uh, ton of uh, arc ability back. You can see I've got my grenade and my and my uh, my rift back. And I'm still getting ionic traces. Now what we're going to do is not quite as if it's a GM but what we're going to do is we'll just break Sadia's shield and then we're going to go back to where we just were and we're going to weather the storm. You'll be surprised at how good your survivability is even just in a rift. So we'll break our shield there we go. Now we're going to get another wave of ads. So, uh, here we go. We've got this wave. So, make sure you put your rift down in preparation and get a grenade on. As soon as the grenade starts damaging, you're, you should start receiving ionic traces. And what you're looking for more than anything else is to get your, uh, as you can see, I've got my rift back. That's what I'm looking for. And, and you'll notice something as well, even if my arc abilities aren't getting the kills, as long as they've done the damage, I will get Ionic Traces back. So now what I'm going to do is just stick a little bit of damage on her, I pop my super. Now she's going to do the off, she is going to run. So I am going to turn and just finish it off on her, and there you go, she's immune. So now we're going to get a bigger wave of ads and the, this wave of ads is going to come from both sides so what you want to do is switch to the side I'm at not this side you want to be yep you want to be on this side because you want to be when you put your rift down and you're dealing with all these enemies you want to make sure you're on the opposite side to Sadia so that you're still not getting damaged by her because she uh yeah she will still keep trying to shoot you right back into the rift And although that, that that did look dangerous, my arc soul will still damage everything, whether I'm in, you know. So it's not like they're getting a free run to just shoot at me, right? My arc soul won't have that. Another thing that's worth saying is that there's a thing with Sadia. I'll put an R. Well done. You see there, I never actually hit him, so you won't see anything. My my grenade launcher will break their shields as well. For some reason when I was firing my forbearance, I noticed that maybe on the this run or maybe the run before it, that it wouldn't go down those stairs. So I was thinking that I was firing a, a line at the ads and uh, my uh, my waveframe wasn't damaging, <laughs> wasn't hitting them at all. Because there must be something that stops maybe, I, I don't know what it is. So now we're gonna we're gonna break her shield again. Now at this point, see how I'm breaking her shield. At this point, when she goes immune again, I could just go. I don't have to fight the next wave of ads. Managed nice to get a shot off on her just before she goes, but I decided I'm going back to kill these ads. Maybe that's why the score was good. I don't know. But uh, we've got another wave of ads, so just to make sure that I'm not having to deal with, you know, a lot of hassle. I'm just going to kill them all in that. That is most of them already dead. It's just a, a night now, maybe. There we go, this is the last night. And I've got all my abilities back thanks to... Oh no, there's two nights. Thanks to the Ionic Traces, I've got all my abilities back. Now, just going to fire this. I could have put my, my Rift down. It's kind of... I'll just finish. You should you should always be, be mindful of put, putting your Rift down. See, now he's charging me. So now I'll put it down. I wouldn't have put it down just because I was like a little bit damaged. You've got to make sure that you manage your abilities. Tons of special. I'm um, good on heavy. I haven't got my abilities. 
Uh, but this, I think I had a problem with this Overlord. I had a real problem with this Overlord. I had this Overlord on, on lockdown and he kept regenerating his health. So I had to pop my super on him eventually, I think. So there, he's, he's, he's in the bubble. And I think... I think I've stunned him here. There we go. And then pop my super. Now I've stunned him. I'm hitting him with the super. And he's regenerated. That did irritate me. And now he's full health and I used my hook super. Didn't matter what I'd done, this overload would just keep regenerating. I wanted, it was really difficult to separate the overload from the night. Because the night was causing me maybe more problems than the overload was. I had to get out of here because I was, I was getting a little bit of heat here. So as you can see, I've got both of them hitting me. I had to get out of there. Didn't quite have my rift. Just really, I, I honestly know I would probably have waited till I'd stopped, stopped that overload with my grenade before I put the super on. So there you can see he stopped. So I'm going to try and just take him down my head. There we go. My super wouldn't kill him. But uh, the heavy did with a grenade. So now I'll just pick up all this stuff. Now here's the thing, getting the boss to leave the area. So if you want, the boss is over there. If you want the boss to leave, you've got to kill the knight. Not the vandals, although you want to kill the vandals, but it's the knight that's the key. Just toss a grenade over on top of that knight and just whittle them down and as soon as the night's gone then Sadia will I think I think I got him there no nearly yeah nearly right so Sadia will now teleport the minute you kill the night watch out for the debris coming across oh that's heavy why hello there two but I think I get I think I get heavy up at this next bit. Again, you've got an unstoppable up here now with a couple of vandals and uh, the obligatory arc shielded knight. So we'll try and take the two snipers. Throw a grenade up there. It never hit anybody, which is good, because as soon as I threw the grenade they ran away. nearly got the vandal but I, I think I nearly got that vandal by accident I don't I wasn't even aiming for him but now he's dead so now it's just the knight and the knight's the only one we're really going to take from over here normally I do go across to take the overload so let's talk about the boss because you kind of start almost in a very similar area to where you, you finish in a very similar area to where you start a circular kind of there he goes there goes the deer and 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 Drop too heavy. Wow. Uh, let's talk about the boss. So, as long as you're in constant movement, the boss isn't going to be so much of an. You know, the boss won't be so. In, you won't be so in inconvenienced by the boss. Uh, you get a you get a first wave of taken thrall. You've got to get rid of those, and then as soon as you start your first damage phase, you'll get. A, a, a wave of two some ads with two knights the other things you've got to worry about glitchy teleporting knights coming after you so I always use this pillar here to jump up and then I turn and we've got to get over to these ads so I'm going to use my forbearance and that took just about all of them and then I grab an orb straight away now you've got to watch out because uh, of what you've just seen now. What you've got to watch out for is when she charges her attack, which is she puts that blight thing on the ground and then uh, she'll fire like a, a blast at you, which it will knock you back. 
right, there's the last ad. I knew there was one more Scion up, I just needed to make sure I got him. And just get behind that pillar. When she does that attack, if you're in the air, when she does it, you'll get thrown. If you're, like you've just seen there, if you're on the ground, you just get nudged. So you want to make sure you're on the ground when she does that attack. And if you're far enough away, there goes, here comes the attack. If you're far enough away, you won't get damaged at all. So we're just going to put a little bit on. I'm not using my super because, you see there's not a lot of damage, uh, not a lot of health left. I'm not using my super. I actually got caught here, so now I'll use my super. And that took one of the knights. And God knows where the other captain went, but I never seen him. I didn't see the other captain, so I, I, I actually thought that because I never seen him, he must have jumped off. They love doing that in this strike. So, now what we've got to do is get, get the boss into the right position to throw the orbs. Now, I actually rushed one of these orbs. You want to make sure she's on ground level. Right? Because if she goes up high, your orb won't track her. Just like that. So, I kind of took a couple of, not chances, because I didn't expect her to be able to do a lot of damage to me when I was jumping across. But again, constant movement, constant movement. Now, I, I probably should add this. I don't have, I'm not running some high spec, super high mobility warlock. Jesus, I, I think I might even have just three. See what I mean? Your, your orb just won't track her if, if she's up top. Uh, I'll just throw that over there. No problem. Now, what I want to do, yeah, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm running three mobility, something like that. What I want to do is I want her to get her onto ground level and I'll be up here, put a rift down, throw my grenade and then get 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 some of this on. And there you go. Between the between the grenades, the double explosion the, the bow's double explosion, the jolt from the grenade. Because once the grenade hits her, it will add joke to her, and my oxo was constantly damaging her. And there you go. Stay moving. You'll be fine. Make sure that you you can get your abilities back fast enough. And there you go. As you can see, double exalt. I actually got three exotics, two engrams, and gauntlets. So I think I think getting platinum's kind of a thing of the past. Not so much needed now. As you can see, got silver rewards there. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm not sure how many people are going to try it, but I do this stuff for your enjoyment and to test out certain things. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourself, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.